여러분 안녕하세요. 어 이거 구나 군요. You just learned new knowledge or new information based on what you experienced firsthand. Well, 선생님, we know 네. What's the difference between 구나 and 네? We'll talk about it a little later. But also, second-hand experience. So, the other person is telling you something and you learned something new from what the other person said. Oh, really? I didn't know that. From there, this is a unique Uh, function of kuna, number two. So by acknowledging what you learned new now, you are showing your empathy. You are showing, oh, I acknowledge what you said, including your feelings. Oh, that's how you feel. Oh, you are sad. I, I see. So empathizing the other person's feelings, you use kuna. If you look up dictionary form of verbs or adjectives, they all end with 다. And we are changing this 다 Lego block today to another sentence ending. So sentence ends here, 여러분. You can't continue sentence with this. 선생님, can I use other 존댓말 endings like 씁니다, 합니다, 아니요. Only 요 is used. There are two different conjugation rules. When it's adjective, you know, good, bad, or delicious, then you just put 구나 or 군요. No other conjugation rules, no irregular forms. To eat, to go, to sleep, to like, to love, you'll put 는 구나 after verb. 그쵸? Let's look at conjugations of adjective. Let's practice some. Okay, how would you change 그렇다? 그렇다, to be so, to be that way. So 반말, non-polite. Oh, 그렇구나, 많이 들었죠. You heard this a lot, right? Oh, 그렇구나, really, is that so? Oh, it is, I didn't know. To make it polite, Oh, 그렇군요. Oh, 그렇군요. It, oh, it is so, okay. Can I say 그렇구나 to 선생님? Yes, if it's like talking to myself, thinking out loud. 아, 그렇구나. 네, 알겠어요. 자, 바쁘다 어떻게 해요? Your friend said, your friend said, Oh, 나 이번 주에 시험 다섯 개 있어. I have five exams this week. 이번 주에 시험 다섯 개 있어. Oh, 죽겠어. I'm dying. Oh, you're really busy, I see. 자, 친구니까 바쁘구나. 어, 너 진짜 바쁘구나. 어, 이번 주 진짜 바쁘구나. And if you want to make it polite, then instead of 바쁘구나, you say, 어, 바쁘군요. 정말 바쁘군요. 어, 많다. 어, 여러분이 어디 식당에 갔어요. You went to a restaurant. 사람이 진짜 많아요. There's so many people. Oh my God, there's so many people. 사람 진짜 많구나. I didn't know. I see. 사람 너무 많군요. 아, 어떡하죠? 다른 데 갈까요? Shall we go somewhere else? 자, 어렵다. Usually, if there is p u b underneath, you have to conjugate it irregularly, right? Like 어려워요, 어려운 숙제. But before this 기억, you don't have to do anything. So you just add... 어렵 플러스 구나 as well. 어렵구나. 아, 한국어 어렵구나. I'm realizing it now. <laughs> I didn't think Korean would have would be this difficult. 아, okay. I'm realizing now. 한국어 어렵구나. 선생님, 한국어 정말 어렵군요. 어떡하죠? 이렇게 쓸수 있어요. Verb stem, you need 는. Doesn't matter if it ends with consonant or vowel. So, 좋아하다. Um, your friends say, oh my god, I'm in love with uh, 남주혁. 
Oh, I see. You like Nam Ju h y o k I didn't know. Oh, 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 다시 올게. I'll come back. Oh, you're reading that book. Oh, 그책 읽는구나. 재밌어? Is it fun? 자, one irregular, 여러분. If the stem ends with l i l it's actually difficult to say. 살는구나. So instead of 살는구나, we drop l i l before n i n ending. And it becomes 사는구나. 오, 지금 한국에 사는구나. 오, you live in Korea now. I didn't know. 어, 여기 사는구나. 어, you live here. I didn't know. 어, 너 여기 사는구나. 그러면 one quiz, everyone. 오, I see you know that. 어떻게 해요? 자, 알다, to know. So you drop real and it becomes 어, 아는구나. You know that too. 어, 아는구나. Can we use this with past tense? Yes. You're realizing it now about what already happened. Oh, you, you dated each other before I didn't know. Mm-hmm. That you're realizing something that happened in the past, then you can use past tense suffix. So, we said 그렇다. You're talking about the past. 그랬어요. That happened. Mm, 그쵸. 그랬구나. To make it polite, 아, 그랬군요. That's why. Oh, that happened. 아, 그래서 그랬군요. <laughs> This is how you say, oh, that's why. Oh, 그래서 그랬군요. That's why that happened. 바빴어요. Past tense is in this double shield underneath, always. 그쵸? So we keep that past tense suffix to show we are talking about the past. And then we are changing this o y o ending Two other endings, and today it's kuna or kunyo. Verb or adjective, it does not matter. 상관 없어요. For the past tense, uh, both verb and adjective, you just put kuna and kunyo after ot at. So, oh, you were busy. <gasps> 바빴구나. I didn't know you were busy. Oh, 바빴군요. Oh, really? I didn't know. Verb은요. 좋아했어요. I liked him before. 어, 제가 좋아했어요. 음. Oh, you liked him before. I didn't know. 어, 좋아했구나. 어, 걔 좋아했구나. You liked him. You liked her. 걔 좋아했구나. 어, 걔 좋아했군요. 이렇게. You're recommending a book. 어, 이책 읽어봐. 재밌어. And your friend says, 어, 읽었어. 벌써 읽었어. 이미 읽었어. I already read. Oh, you read it. I didn't know. You already read it. Oh, 읽었구나. Oh, 이미 읽었구나. 이책 읽었구나. 어, 이렇게 하면 돼요. 자, 살다, which was irregular in the present tense. For the past tense, it does not matter. 상관없어요. Because we are working with past tense, past tense suffix anyway. So, you know, I used to live in Texas. Did you know? Seriously, I did. Uh, 저 어스틴에 살았어요. 텍사스 어스틴에서 1년 살았어요. 몰랐죠, 여러분? You didn't know. Then you'll say, Oh, 선생님, 텍사스에 살았구나. 어, 살았군요. 아, 텍사스 살았군요. For beginners, 선생님, I'm barely digesting this. Then, Don't care about this part, okay? But for those who want to know how to use with she, subject honorifics, how do I use honorifics with this? In reality, if you're using you ending, a lot of times you're talking to somebody you have to be polite to, right? Your boss, somebody older than you. Then you want to use honorifics as well. That's why I want to introduce this. This u she is called subject honorific. Suffix. So suffix comes after verb stem before ending. 
Okay, so the past tense, 여러분, this is suffix because you put after verb stem before the ending. So what comes in between is suffix and this is subject honorific suffix. You put right after verb stem. So u in parentheses, that means if the stem ends with a consonant, then you put u. If the verb stem doesn't have consonant on the bottom, 받침 없어요, then you just need 시. And if we're talking about the verb, you will add 는. If not, if it's an adjective, just 구나. This 의시 is honoring the subject of this verb who's doing this action or subject of the sentence. And you are honoring who you are talking about. Not the listener, but who you are talking about. But sometimes when you're saying, oh, you did that. There, you is the subject, but also a listener. That's why a lot of times when you are talking to somebody older or higher, you will use both she and you at the at the same time. So to friend, you said, oh, 바쁘구나. You're really busy. I didn't know. To make this polite, we said, oh, 바쁘군요. But in reality, if you have to use you, this does not sound polite enough if you are talking about other people. If you are talking about us together, including myself, then you don't have to use this honorific. We don't honor ourselves. 우리 바쁘군요. We are really 바쁘군요. But, oh, you are really busy, I see. And you want to honor you. And you also want to use polite ending, yo to you, then you'll use both. <웃음> 바쁘시군요. 아, 선생님, 진짜 바쁘시군요. I see. Can I use 구나 with she as well? Yes. Because this yo, you are being polite to the listener. But if you are not being polite to the listener, for example, your friend said, oh, the teacher is really busy nowadays. Oh, really? Oh, our teacher is really busy. You're talking about teacher being busy. You're talking about the teacher. You'll still use 시. But you're talking to your friend. So you don't have to use you to your friend, right? Then you can say, Oh, 선생님, 바쁘시구나. 아, 그래? 선생님, 진짜 바쁘시구나. <clears throat> but if you're talking to 선생님, Oh, you are really busy, 선생님. 선생님, 바쁘시군요. 이렇게. So another thing, we said, oh, 좋아하는구나. 아, K-pop 좋아하는구나. Oh, K-pop 좋아하는군요. It comes right after the verb stem. 하시는구나. So 좋아하다, to like, is a verb. So you will need 는. 아, 선생님, K-pop 좋아하시는구나. I didn't know. You're talking to yourself, realizing, oh, okay. If you want to make it polite, looking at the teacher and say, oh, you like K-pop? I didn't know. 선생님, K-pop 좋아하시는군요. 이렇게. What if I want to use it in the past tense? 의시 comes right after verb stem. This comes first. And then the past tense suffix comes. So, 의시였구나. 의시였군요. To your friends, oh, you are busy. I didn't know. 바빴구나. And you want to say it about the teacher, then this is how you do. 바쁘다, stem. And then you put 시 first. And then the past tense, 옷. 바쁘시었구나. And then this 시옷, 여러분, becomes shot. Because shot, 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 becomes shot. So 바쁘셨구나. 아 선생님 바쁘셨구나. 오 바쁘셨군요. 이렇게 해요. 자 그러면 좋아했구나. Oh you liked that guy. 그 남자 좋아했구나. 좋아하 she plus odd becomes. 오 좋아하셨구나. 어, 선생님, 방탄소년단 좋아하셨군요. 자, 그러면 now. 어, 구나 versus 네요. 
How are they different? Kuna or kunyo shows what you learned just now, either from the other person or your own experience. Neyo shows what you realized just now. Ding! First handed. So only uh, from what you yourself see, hear, taste, smell, or f- it should be F E E L, feel, and etc. And the difference is Kuna can repeat what the other person said. Oh, 나 진짜 바빴어. 아, 진짜 바빴구나. Acknowledging what the other person said. Learning from what the other person said. Whereas, 내 cannot repeat the information the other person just said. You yourself have to see it. You yourself have to taste it. To use 내, okay? Um, and also, because you are... Able to repeat what the other person said and acknowledge what you heard, you can use this to show your empathy to other person's feelings. Oh, you are sad. I feel you. That you can use kuna. Both kuna, kunyo, and neyo are used to say what you just realized from your first-hand experience. Okay, that's when you can use both, either. This is why you guys are confused about kuna versus neyo. You're looking at um, Google Map and it's like blood red on Google Map or you look outside and there's like traffic and you can say, 오늘 차가 많구나. Oh, I see. I didn't know, but I see now. Here, you can also say, 오늘 차가 많네요. 오늘 차가 많군요. 오늘 차가 많네요. 둘다쓸수 있어요. You can use both. Any difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, however, studies show neyo is much more frequently used than kunyo in this context. So when you see something, when you taste something, when you hear something, your own experience, first-hand experience, and you're reacting, neyo is like nine times more frequently used than kunyo. You look outside the window, it's raining. Oh, 비 오는구나. 비 오는군요. Completely perfect. Same as, oh, 비 오네. Which one do we use more? Oh, 비 오네요. This is more often used. Just statistically speaking. 얘도 펜싱 국가대표야. 아, 그 정우진 선수군요. 반가워. 정우진 선수군요. 반가워. 어, 저를 아세요? 네, 저 스포츠국에서 펜싱 담당하고 있거든요. 진짜? 나너 정말 사랑해. 어? 나도 사랑해, 다은아. 다은이를... 많이 사랑하셨구나. 다은이를 많이 사랑하셨구나. 야, 대체 이걸 왜 듣고 있는 건데? So noun to be something is 이다, right? Noun 이다. And then we change 다 and then put 구나 or 군요. If the noun ends with consonant, then you need 이. If it ends with vowel, then you don't need 이. So um, player... Or athlete is 선수, 펜싱 선수. 선수 군요, he said. 정호진 선수 군요. And if you want to say, oh, you are a teacher. Oh, 선생님 이군요. 선생님이구나. If you want to use subject honorific, oh, 선생님 이시군요. 선생님 이시구나. 이렇게. And here, 여러분. 구나 and... 군요 can repeat what the other person said to acknowledge 
and show that you learned new information. 선생님, can I use this with 내유? Not really. I'll show you the difference. So to repeat what the other person said, you use 구나 and 군요. Somebody says, 지금 밖에 비 엄청 많이 와요. It's raining crazy outside. Based on what the other person said, to repeat what they said, you can say, 아, 지금 비 오는군요. You didn't see it. You are in the classroom or office and there is no window. 창문 없어요. 그래서 몰랐어요. And you're only learning this information from what the other person said. It's raining outside, by the way. Oh, is it? Oh, it is raining, so I didn't know. 아, 지금 비 오는군요. Can I repeat what this person said with 아, 지금 비 오네요? No. You can only repeat what the other person said to acknowledge that new information with 구나 or 군요. Because 내요, you have to see it yourself. 진라면은 매운 맛이 맛있어. Hmm? As for 진라면, when it comes to 진라면, spicy flavor is better. Oh, 그래? You're listening. Oh, 매운 맛이 맛있구나. I didn't know. I'm just learning this from what you said. Here, can I say, Oh, 매운 맛이 맛있네? No. <laughs> so when you're learning from what the other person said and you're repeating what you just learned, you only can use 구나. 아, 그렇구나. 진라면은 맛있구나. 아, 매운 맛이 맛있구나. Your friend says, 아, 코로나 걸려서 지난주에 좀 아팠어. You heard it, right? You didn't see that friend being sick. So, 아, 그랬구나. You did. 지금은 괜찮아? So, you won't say, 아, 그랬네. 지금은 괜찮아? You cannot because you didn't see it. In the same context, when can I use 네? Let's compare. 자, 네 is only used to show your realization based on what you yourself experienced firsthand. So think of this like intonation. I keep saying, 아, 그렇구나. 아, 그렇군요. It's like acknowledging what the other person said. Oh, really? 네 is, 어? 네? 그렇네? 비 오네? 지금 밖에 비 엄청 많이 와요. You look outside the window and then you see yourself it is raining and you're looking at the rain then you can say, 어, 진짜 비 오네요. Here, 선생님, can I say 비 오는구나? Yes, remember? I said when you are experiencing firsthand, you can use both 구나 and 네. But statistically speaking, 네 is used a lot more in this context. 진라면은 매운맛이 맛있어. 그래? You taste it. 음, 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 먹어요. 음, oh, and it is really delicious. Then you'll say, oh, 매운맛이 맛있네. 진짜네. Oh, here, can I say 맛있구나? Yes. Oh, 매운맛이 맛있구나. But in this context, people use 네 more when you are experiencing it. Same thing. Oh, 코로나 걸려서 지난주에 좀 아팠어. You look at their PCR test results. Your friend shows the picture. Look, look. I tested it positive. <gasps> oh, really? I see that. Oh, 그랬네? 지금은 괜찮아? So 구나 and 군요 is used to empathize with other person's uh, uh, emotion and feeling. So then you show that you acknowledge their feelings. I feel you. I know what you mean. I, I understand what you mean. Earlier, we said you can repeat what the other person said, right? To show, okay, I'm listening. So expand that usage. And now it's like, oh, I feel you. I'm acknowledging. I'm feeling you. 친구가 코로나 걸려서 지난주에 나좀 아팠어. 아, 그랬구나. We said this earlier, right? Oh, I hear you. And this, because 구나 has this function, this sounds very caring. 아, 그랬구나. Acknowledging what happened to your friend. 어, 다 나았어. Yeah, I'm all recovered. I got better. And you can react. 아, 다 나았구나. 너무 다행이다. 
Oh, so you recovered all. I see. I'm learning this new information, and I feel you. 너무 다행이다. 네가 내 생일 잊어버려서 아, 너무 서운했어. You forgot my birthday, so I was really hurt. I was really upset. It hurt my feelings. Oh, really? Oh, you were. Oh, 서운했구나. 미안해. 내가 요즘 이사 때문에 정신이 없었거든. 없었거든. 거든 is when you're explaining something that the other person didn't know. Or that you assume that the other person doesn't know. Oh, you've been really busy because of moving. I didn't know. I forgot about that too. I'm just now realizing. I'm sorry. 이사 때문에 바빴구나. 나도 까먹었네. I'm realizing. I knew it, but I forgot. 미안. Light bulb. 네. 띵. 까먹었네. 미안. So, that's it. 오늘은 여기까지예요. This is what I have. 오늘도 수고하셨습니다. 네, 여러분도 오늘도 수고하셨습니다. Good job, everyone, as well. 다음 주에 만나요, 여러분. 수고했어요. 안녕, 안녕.